Welcome to my channel today. I'm Tara with Piece of Tara Artistry. Thank you for joining me. So today I am going to be showing you how I am going to use this regular gel gloss, the Golden Gek 100, and the pigment, uh, this little piggy Zeus, to, first of all, I'm going to make paint with it so that I can paint the edges of this 8x8 canvas. And then a little bit farther on, I will show you what I'm gonna do next. So basically what I do is I take a scoop of that pigment uh, and put it in the bottom of my cup. Then I take the GAC 100, which is the Golden GAC 100. It's a paint primer, an extender, and basically what it does is it's used um, by Golden to make paint. So you use it to wet the pigments so that they are dispersed and ready to add into a more heavy bodied polymer. So that's what I just did with the golden uh, regular gloss gel. I just added in a couple, actually I think this may be a couple of scoops of the golden gloss gel and um, then it's made into paint and you're ready to paint uh, your edges. I, I actually painted the whole thing because what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to make kind of a scalloped look on this canvas, kind of just a monochromatic scalloped look with um, some modeling paste. Uh, but I didn't want there to be, in case there were kind of areas where there was show through, I didn't want it to show through. So I just painted the entire canvas it's just a little eight by eight, so it didn't take a lot of paint, and I definitely had leftover paint. So um, I just go ahead and store that leftover paint in a container, uh, and it lasts a while. So I now have taken and mixed in the Zeus with the Tri Art matte paste I believe is what it is try art matte modeling paste and I'm sorry I thought I was videoing I thought I showed you the container and I started and apparently I did not <laughs> so I um, I'll try and put a picture up here of it but uh, it is a, a more heavy body polymer um, paste that will help to keep structure so uh, and texture. So basically, this is a very slow process. Now, when you watch it on a lot of like uh, Instagram uh, pages or um, in like reels, uh, a lot of artists doing these, it looks so easy, but it takes some finessing. Uh, like see you you see I had to go back kind of on all of these and add in a little bit more of the um, mixture there just to make sure there wasn't a lot of show through of that under piece um, if if you're working with a base that's already the same color it's not a big deal but um, if your base is just white, you definitely will want to go ahead and make sure that that's all covered. So sometimes this takes a couple of times going over the little scallop areas just to get it right. And it is definitely a slow movement uh, that you're going to be making. So just be patient. So here I'm going to speed it up six times just so you kind of see it a little bit faster. Um, but yeah, it, it does take a little bit of like time to figure it out. On this one, I think I put the scallops a little bit too high, uh, too close to, to the other one, 
which is fine. I mean, it's just all in kind of the look that you're going for. Um, but I think uh, I you will see two more pieces in the end that I did do with the Pigment Ore by TLP and the Pigment Storm by TLP. So now I'm speeding this up 16 times. So this is what you normally see when you're watching these reels and it looks so easy and you don't see them um, multiple times going over the same one. Um, it just looks like it's one little swoop and done. And it's like, it takes, it's so quick, but it is not. You know, you wanna be really careful about placement and making sure that your scallops look nice. So in the next few seconds here, you're going to uh, see me finish this. And then I will show you the wet result of this. And there's a couple of things that I would do differently next time. And I will kind of show you what that is. I, I might actually wait till the end to show you when I show you the dry results to tell you what I would do differently. But here is the wet results. Uh, it's really, really pretty. I thought it was kind of cool. Just monochromatic look. And I wanted to do the a little triptych in these, kind of in the metal. So I went ahead and did the same thing with OR from TLP. And so I'm just showing you um, here how much of the paint I put on each little um, scallop. It's not a lot. You don't use a lot of, of paint. And then this isn't typically the same, the knife that I use, but I like this knife. Um, so here you see, again, a very small amount. This I did TLP or or not or I'm sorry this I did TLP storm it's their new pigment so again you can see how slow of a process I don't really like how that one came out so I'm gonna go over it again oh it's a little bit thinned out so I'm gonna go over it again so you see that these do kind of take a little bit of time so that's the pigment that I used there the TLP storm so what I didn't take into account is that the TriArt Clear Paste, Modeling Paste, is matte. So it did matte my colors. So I don't mind the way it looks, I think it looks really cool. But if you don't want that to happen, um, just make sure, just go ahead and put the paste down first and then paint it afterwards. So. Here it is guys, thank you for being here. Um, this is a, a technique that I will be teaching at the Fluid Art Experience coming up in May 23rd, 24th, and 25th of next year in Asheville, North Carolina um, with eight other artists. Go to uh, www.fluidartexperience.com for tickets and info. So um, thank you guys all for being here today and I will see you on the next one.